On the other side, they're going to be people that develop technologies to take the control away, right? It's going to be a balance of power from my standpoint. Well, I mean, the thing is, there's always a danger in technology, right? There's always a danger that technology can be, be misused. And I think that the, the challenge is it's going to happen that these technologies come into place. We don't know where it's exactly going to be, but you're right. If, a, if a, uh, one of the social media companies uh, starts to use it, imagine how sticky their social media site becomes if it becomes so personalized that it knows you. Right, it it is dramatically personalized. So you're you're right, but I look in in a positive. Honestly, it's you know we can always talk about the devil's advocate standpoint. I think it's a real, it's positive. Why? Because it creates a sense to community and caring. And what what is the thing with all the technology that we have around us today? You know, we have a very sterile environment, and I think. That having those kind of uh, you know good warm and fuzzy kind of feeling is not a bad thing and you know you're right people could control it on the other side they're going to be people that develop technologies to take the control away right it's going to be a balance of power from my standpoint i don't think that it's it's you know one-sided street i think it's going to be balanced and there'll be people on both sides to keep them honest so um it's it i like it i encourage it because it really does make you feel good. And I know from my standpoint with the bots, when I have a bot that, that's uh, personalized and it's uh, asking me questions, I love it, right? I don't want, you know, I don't want to have these sterile experiences and uh, to not feel that they care, right? So, and I believe most consumers out there are the same way. I mean, you buy from people you like, you do things when people understand what you want. If you like red cars and presented uh, yellow cars and blue cars, you're not going to buy. But if you like yellow sports cars that are two seaters with manual transmissions, you know, and you get you inside to try it, it's great. Well, imagine the AI with VR now and AR, right? And so you have that personalized experience. That's where like an Oculus starts to come in. Imagine that kind of super personalized experience where you have an avatar there. It's not just uh, emotional AI, it's emotional AI with a heart, with a soul, with a conscience. That's when it starts to be really interesting, right? Or imagine the kind of things that you can do with this kind of AI. Hey, would you like, are you feeling a little down today? Let's take a trip to Kenya. Come on, let's go together. You put on your, your uh, Oculus Rift and you travel to Kenya on a safari. Imagine what kind of learning experience that does for a kid that's in school. Come on, let's all go as a group. Let's go to Africa on the spot. Are we having fun, kids? You know, and you got a virtual uh, teacher there showing you this incredible virtual world with real animals and you're able to interact. It's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's like the ultimate experience. So um, I'm not the kind of guy that looks at the negative side of things. I think it's going to balance out. I think that, you know, that as the negative comes up, the positive will come to balance the negative out.